I know that in talking with Tony and, and Elizabeth and Cam that you were kind of a reluctant subject because you didn't you didn't think of yourself uh, maybe as a worthy character. But to tell me how you thought about it initially. Well, initially, you know, I would, I, you know, left it, but I, I really didn't think it was something I, I could or should do. And it was, uh, I didn't know you know, it was a process of getting to know Tony and, and Liz, you know, and getting comfortable with that. And then, you know, I talked with my three children because, of course, you know, your past is going to be coming into this. And there's yes. so, so much that they didn't really know because we hadn't been together for all those years, you know. So, um, but in the, I'm, glad, I'm glad we did it. I'm so glad we did it, you know. Because for me, you know, it's, it's like, for the, it's basically for the people below the line, you know. That's, that's what I... The film feel. workers. Sorry? <laughs> the, the film, film workers. workers. Yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. That's such a lovely word I think for it because I mean I've seen some biographical information about you as well you know assistant to Stanley Kubrick I mean that does yeah, not yeah. begin right ahead no no, no exactly tail. because assistant you know I make his coffee and I book his flights and I take his dry cleaning it wasn't that at all it, it was <laughs> probably some of that but an immense amount of other things and you became well you probably wouldn't admit to it to yourself but you know a great craftsman and color timing the films and color correction, the everything, and the library in your head of right. Stanley Kubrick's film, this is really an extraordinary thing yeah. to carry with it you. It stays with you, too. Yeah. Frame by frame. It does. Yeah, yeah, every frame is sacred. That's, that's my motto. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it comes through in the film. Mm. And I'm sure you, I'll put it this way, but do you feel like you sacrificed too much? Do you ever think about it that way, or the art was so wonderful that? No, no, no. I never think about. I never think about you know sacrificing too much, right? You know because to me, you know, it's a huge kind of adventure, the whole thing, you know. And uh, even now, you know, I, I still miss him because you know why wouldn't I miss him? I mean, you know, he, he could be so sharp and so funny even under the most dire situations. And yeah, sure, he had his moments when he, he kind of think, I wish you'd be funny again. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, but so what? And it was always... It, I could always sort of understand what it was that was going on, you know, to right. make him agitated or, or what have you. So, you know, there was a long, it was a long, long relationship. And so yeah. is a shorthand. Oh. in a way of communicating that you don't have to use words you know you just okay I get it that really comes through beautifully in the film of just how in tune you were with him and I was just impressed with how you you would not respond to you know the, what, what might seem like an attack you wouldn't take a defensive approach you just understood yeah yeah, yeah. this is a, a sensitive artist he's got a lot of pressure I, sure. I don't need to take this person. No, absolutely, absolutely. You know, and it's taking that mental step back and being able to say, oh, man, I get this. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's nothing to do with you, or even if it is, you know, so what? It's Let's just go. something to fix. You know, it can be fixed. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, you know, it's interesting. <laughs> and Tony, you became, I mean, so much more than a director in many respects in this film because you helped... Leon organizes archive and and everything, but now that the the film is in the world and has been to a number of festivals, you know what what has the process been like? What are your thoughts about Leon as a person and and all he's done for the the art of cinema, which is has, hasn't been known until your film. Yeah. Uh, well, when, when, I, when I when we started the project, uh, you know, and I always say this is that. It's like Stanley Kubrick. It's just was to me, it's cinema, you know, and a very intense cinema. And so when I met Leon, it was really part of me. To be honest, it was always like I'm still trying to get closer to Stanley through Leon. But then, as we started filming, um, almost Leon took over because it was a different person, a different artist different approach but also like there was so much that that's why I'm proud of the film too because it really opens your eyes to 
um, especially in our business, is that people always think it's like, oh, it's the one person that, even Leon says it in the beginning, he says, oh, one man's idea. But really when you watch the movie or when you go through the whole process of making a movie, you start to realize, no, maybe it is a one man's idea or one woman's idea, but it really is so much goes into it. And this project in Leon taught me that there's a lot, the details, and the details is what really gives the shelf life to the project. So of course you could make movies these days that are like, you know, a cookie cutter formula and you just spit them out, but the shelf life is so short. Mm. That's why we have films coming out two weeks, three days in the theater, or whatever, you know? But Kubrick's films, I, I learned from Leon, it was the details, and who had to do the details? It was Leon, other people with him, but I was really surprised about the level, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to take Leon's word for it, and he never even claimed it, you see what I'm saying? So I had to actually, before I committed to the project, I had to go around first and kind of almost investigate. It's like, am I insane? Is this man really did all this? And I was shocked because he wouldn't even tell me. He played it. He always played And he still plays it. Um, I think he's more almost forced now because it's in the movie. Yeah. But he always is like, I was, I'm just a film worker. Mm. But there's a lot mm. to that word. There's a lot yeah. as you see in the film. Well, thank you so much, and thank I'm just you. personally so delighted that your story is being told because it's, it's so moving, it's so extraordinary, the work that you did.